how the price of paradise could be at the center of St. Pete's plan to redevelop the historic gas plant district, which is home to Tropicana Field. Well, tonight the city held a meeting hoping to get a feel for what the community would like to see. And as ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline found out, the affordable housing crisis was at the top of people's minds. When it comes to revamping the historic gas plant district in St. Pete, city leaders are looking to others that have done it before, but most importantly, they're also looking to the people themselves. And at a public input meeting Tuesday, it became clear that many people in the community feel that this project will give St. Pete a chance to right a historic wrong. Born and raised right here in St. Petersburg. There are people like Ray Tampa, who says many black and brown families had to leave the area to make room for a Tropicana field. Well, it was like a lot of families being displaced that didn't want to be displaced. Betty Hayward is also from the area, and she and her daughter tell ABC Action News that now people are being forced to leave because of housing costs. You know, we talk about the, the rent, what it costs for people. They don't have a choice but to move. To help fix things, these folks tell us they want to see a sense of community restored to the area by offering jobs and job placement, local amenities, and above all else, most important, affordable housing. Mayor Ken Welch also grew up in the city and says he agrees. And when it comes to his vision for the 86 acre development, he wants to see a mix of entertainment and economic opportunities. And he says housing is also top of mind. We want the new development. The market rate and luxury is great. But for the folks who are here and make our city work and for those retirees who've invested and can't afford those big increases, we need to be intentional about getting affordable housing uh, developed and keep it affordable long term. Mayor Welch says the city will be holding two more of these public meetings. And after that, he's asking that his staff put a plan on his desk by mid-August. In St. Pete, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.